I have the pleasure of meeting Queen Bay, and she's going to tell us a little bit about where she was born. I was born in Kansas City, Kansas, December 29th, 1937. And tell us how you got involved with music. Well, you know, Kansas City is the jazz capital yes, of the it world. Is. And um, I would always hear those great musicians like uh, Jimmy Witherspoon and Charlie Parker and Jay McShann and Lester Young. And, and on um, uh, Saturdays, I think, that we had jazz at the Philharmonic would come on the radio. And I would listen and I'd hear Ella Fitzgerald and Sarah Vaughn and all those great singers. So I was like kind of raised into that music. Yeah, that was inspirational, and you yeah. got to see some of those people, too. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. um, we had a club in Kansas City, Missouri, called the Orchid Room. Okay. And that's where all the greats would come and perform. Oh. And that's where I ended up performing at the age of 11. Wow, 11. How did you swing that with liquor in the house? <laughs> Well, I, I, I realize now when people say that, they talk about their kids and say, oh, he's really strong-willed, you know. And I used to wonder, what, 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 what are they talking about? I had no idea. I was one of those kids. Okay. I was strong-willed because I wanted to be a singer, and I loved music, and I loved to sing. And I guess it was just in my spirit. You know, some people are just born to be That's certain right. things, you That's know? That's right. And I think I was just born to sing, even in the kindergarten. Wow. I started out with, um, um, we had the little kitty rhymes, you know, mm -hmm. and we were doing Tisket and Tasket. And I think Ella Fitzgerald had made that song very famous. Right. But I wanted to change it. Mm -hmm. I could feel it needed a little pizzazz, I guess some of my own pizzazz. <laughs> In kindergarten? <laughs> In kindergarten. So, so what did you change it to? When, when the teacher uh, uh, asked me to do it, I didn't do it the way it's supposed to be done. I added a little oomph to it. And I would sing a tisket, a tasket. You know, and I had to really belt it out. And I knew then that it was just forward for me from then on. <laughs> so when, when did you leave Kansas City? I left Kansas City in 1957. I was a teenage mother. And I knew that staying in Kansas City, being a teenage mother, and no birth control, I was never going to leave. <laughs> okay? okay? I knew that, and I said, I'm getting up out of here, mm -hmm. and I'm going to Los Angeles. Oh, okay. And I left Kansas City and came to Los Angeles, and the rest is history. Well, tell us a little bit about what happened when you got here. I was scared to death, because I came from the Midwest, and we just had trees, beautiful trees, <laughs> but these trees were different, palm trees, and I first thing I was doing was looking up in the air, and I was scared because I missed my family, and I had a baby, and I was trying to figure out what, what was I going to do, how was I going to make it, and um, I met a lot of wonderful people on the way, you know, and I finally got a break at Dino's Lodge, Dean Martin's brother's place. Where was that located? Okay. That was on Sunset Boulevard. Oh. And they had an uh, audition mm -hmm. for singers. And in those days, there wasn't any too much happening for African Americans. Right. Only African American people that were on the billboard was Sammy Davis Jr. and uh, what was her name? Uh, uh, Eartha Kitt. Mm -hmm. And very few. Dorothy Danridge. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. Not me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So we had this audition, and of course it was me and a non-African American young lady. And she sang, well, I'm having a senior moment now, but uh, this song that she sang, it was a song that, this regular tune. Sure. You know, and 
I decided again that it needed a little kick to it. And I gave it a little kick. Oh, you sang the same song? Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> I, you know, I just, I don't know. Right now, I wouldn't do that. But at that time, I was young and I said, I can do in my way. I, I know how this song is supposed to go. Right. You know, and, and I did it. Mm -hmm. That's it. And you got the job? Got the job. Okay. Worked a little while and then I went to other things, you know? Like what? Well, 